Hey guys, how are you? I'm actually in bed today. Um, I have been getting the most awful, I can't even call it a headache. And it's, it's a migraine, but it's, I don't know, it's not like my usual migraines. Um, I'm suspecting mold in my apartment. It's not like too far off the mark for the South and around this area. A lot of people have mold in their homes and apartments. So I don't know if it's mold. Yesterday was a really cloudy, um, foggy day and the air quality was super poor. But I'm getting these headaches and it's really reminding me of the way my body and my head felt when I had COVID. Um, because that, that COVID body ache and that COVID headache was like nothing I've ever experienced before. So I stayed home today from work because I was in agony last night. I felt like I was dying. Um, I can't really take anything. My system is super sensitive. Sometimes I take homeopathy and it works, but honestly, um, I didn't even have it in me to like look up remedies because normally I will get the pain like under here and in my temples. It's usually more my right side. A lot of my pain is my right side, which FYI is your masculine side of the body. Um, and so, or sometimes I'll like get it in my, you know, even in my eyes. So I get the thing with the lights and I need to be, in dark and quiet, but this one hit me. I didn't feel great when I went to bed, but this one hit me in the middle of the night, like uh, waking up and feeling like that has to be like one of the wor worst feelings in the world. So I normally use peppermint oil and lavender, which is really helpful. But when I say I use it, I bathe in it. And this pain has been these last few cycles of headaches, migraines have been going into my neck, my back. I mean, my one shoulder, my left shoulder blade was killing me. And again, I almost always have this pain on the right side of my body. So that the fact that it was on the left, which is your feminine side, was different. And although I had the pressure and the pain in here, it moved right back here the left side of my head, like somebody was just banging that part of my head with a hammer. It was awful. And I get the nausea and I feel like I'm going to be sick and my stomach was killing me. It was just, I don't even know. Um, and the peppermint oil and the lavender oil were helping, but I forgot that I have this I love this. This is white flower oil. It's used extensively in traditional Chinese medicine. It's essentially lavender and mint. It is not white flowers. The um, I believe the person who discovered this, the creator of this, had a favorite white flower. Was it callus flowers? I don't know. I just looked it up and I forgot it. Um, but I like all that, you know, nerdy historical stuff, you know, who's behind the product. But anyway, um, you can get white flower off of Amazon. I'm not like, I don't have an Amazon account. I really don't like shopping off of Amazon. I know, but you're also talking to a person who doesn't have a TV. Um, and I don't have internet anymore <laughs> in my house. So, um, but this stuff is golden and it's used for arthritis and any type of pain. If you've ever gone for acupuncture um, and they've rubbed this on you, oh, it's just the best. Well, it saved me. Between last night and all this morning, rubbing this all over me, especially, you know, massaging it into my, my shoulder blade and my back and this part of my neck. I did a tiny bit of my temples. The only thing that you need to be careful of is don't rub your eyes because I did that, both of them. And I, you know, had rubbed the oil between both hands. No bueno. The remedy for that is coconut oil right in your eye, like no exaggeration. 
I put the coconut oil directly in my eye and then I put coconut oil on two separate tissues and I had the tissues with the coconut oil over my eyes and then in about a half an hour it was gone. But that's just how much of a, a hot mess I was last night trying to get myself better, you know, out of this pain. And, uh, and I wound up, you know, rubbing my eyes because I wasn't thinking. But anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to um, white flower. It can be a balm as well. I've always used the oil and I'm not saying it's going to cure your migraine. It's not like the pain went away instantaneously, but I was 70% better by like 11, 12 o'clock today. Um, and I woke up with this at about, I think, 2, 2.30 in the morning. And I really never went back to sleep until 7.38 this morning. That's how much pain I was in, but it definitely subsided. So um, if you have an acupuncturist, I know my acupuncturist used to sell it. You can get it from an acupuncture office. You can get it online. I always like to give these little tips and tricks for y'all. If you're like me and you have a sensitive system and you can't take aspirin or Advil or ibuprofen or any of that stuff, um, next time maybe I'll do a video on homeopathic remedies. I know one of the ones that has helped me a tremendous amount with migraines is Bryonia. B-R-Y-O-N-I-A. Um, I take most of my homeopathic remedies in a 30C. I am not a licensed homeopath, but I've been practicing homeopathy for 18 years. My kids were raised on it. I still have them dose with things. I still see my homeopath from New Jersey. We just do phone calls now. She's amazing. Um, she's probably my third or fourth homeopath and, um, I'm, you know, I kind of cycle in and out because homeopaths are trained differently. They practice differently. You know, some do higher dilutions, some do lower dilutions, some do liquids and succuss. And again, I will do a video on homeopathy because homeopathy has pretty much saved my life. And it's how I became a certified health and wellness practitioner. It's what propelled me into health and wellness. So I have deep gratitude for the practice. And I will say homeopathy is the one thing that I will confidently tout as a cure. Um, it has helped me tremendously with chronic pain and inflammation and Lyme, et cetera, and a whole host of other things. And it's you know, great for um, mental, emotional, and physical, so acute and chronic. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and more videos to come. If I'm feeling strong enough later, I will be doing another yoga video. And thank you so much for everyone who's been super supportive of my channel so far. Um, I really appreciate you. Lots of friends hanging in there with me. Um, some of you have been there with me for the long haul and much gratitude and deep love. You know who you are. See you soon.